This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about the next match. We've got the Intercontinental Champion Jeff Hardy beating Rob Conway in 20 seconds. That's a non title match. Jeff Hardy comes out unannounced for a match. Rob Conway suddenly walks out and says he's turning the page over and starting 2007 by winning. He said he would beat Hardy or quit raw. After Conway enters the ring with confidence, Hardy, Hardy quickly caught him in the corner with a sunset flip for the pin. Conway was shocked, but his shock turned into polite applause when Vince McMahon made a surprise appearance and approached Conway in the ring. McMahon said his new year's resolution is to stop being nice and stop letting people take advantage of him. And he said, Donald Trump stole a certain catchphrase of his, but he recognizes that Trump has his own problems with Rosie O'Donnell, who he called Yoko Zuna when they flashed a not so flattering picture of her on the Titan Tron. He then looked at Conway and said, I'm not going to let you quit Rob Conway. You're fired and struts away quarter star. what do you think of this segment? Um, was what it was, um, uh, kind of filler more than anything. And it's, you know, Rob Conway and wanting to do, you know, the Conway. Um, I think I was accused early on of not believing in it. And, and that's, that's an accurate accusation. I, I didn't believe in it, but I, and that's not fair. It wasn't that I didn't believe in the gimmick. I didn't believe in the way that Rob wanted to present the gimmick. And, uh, so we let him do it, do it his way and, uh, go try it. So that's what happened. And we let him try it. And I don't think it worked. Well, obviously it didn't work, but, um, nice little start, you know, Rosie O'Donnell, um, and, and the Donald, having their little feud at the time was, was topical. And so might as well jump on that as well. In hindsight, not really cool to, uh, poke fun at Rosie like this, but she probably didn't have the best relationship with wrestling anyway. Right. Rosie didn't have a good relationship with a lot of people and just in general. So, uh, other than die hard Rosieites, I don't think that that many people were offended, but no, it wouldn't be. Wouldn't be a good thing to do. No. So even though he's a uh, quote unquote kayfabe fired here, he, he leaves the cut Rob Conway. That is, he winds up getting released on May 11th of the same year. Why didn't this hit? I mean, Rob Conway had the look, uh, his work was okay. What, what was it about him that just didn't click for Vince? My, my point of view and only my point of view is that he didn't listen. Didn't want to listen. Rob would come in with all the answers and if anyone had an idea to, to help him or to tweak things, Rob had, was very headstrong, hell of a talent, great look, hell of a talent, but a uh, little bullheaded. You think, um, do you think there's a chance that he could be a contributor in another area or do you think his wrestling days are probably approaching the sunset. I have no idea what he's doing now. And again, it's a super nice guy and a super talented guy. It's just sometimes when you have an idea in your head of what something should be, and you're going to do it your way, come hell or high water. That's where we got stuck with Rob. He's still wrestling, but I've heard from other people who think that he might be a good, like creative guy, but I've never, I don't think I've ever met Rob. So I don't know anything about that. Yeah, I I don't know anything about that creative side of him at all. At all. What about the Highlanders? I know we briefly touched on them once before. We talked about how uh, one of the fellas appeared accidentally at a TNA show. They show him on camera, cost him his gig. Uh, I think he was even quoted as saying, yeah, "I was unhappy, and maybe this was my subconscious way of getting myself fired." but it feels like they're only here for a cup of coffee. But when they come out with their look, I just think, boy, this is Vince's dream here. What can you tell us about the Highlanders? Well, I'll tell you how the Highlanders got, uh, basically got hired is because they came to their tryouts and they came around and they were, they always wore kilts and they always basically what you saw is what you got. That was no gimmick. That was who they were. And 
Vince absolutely loved that. Everybody loved that. William Regal was one of the guys that came up and said, look, this is who they are. Um, we should do something with them and try them. And because of their dedication to always wearing the kilts, no matter where they were, what they were doing and everything along that line, that is what got them hired in the first place. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.